everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm so glad you found me. I have a huge Christmas Dollar Tree haul for you today. This past week I went out and I scoured about six or seven of my stores. I went in and found each of them were just starting to put out some Christmas and I found some goodies in each of the stores. So I have so much to share with you and I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. Now the first item that I wanted to share with you, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Uh, it's called Rooms Blooms. Look at that, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? It is a single bloom. This is very nice quality, absolutely gorgeous. So I did go ahead and pick up six of them. I thought they were just so gorgeous. The leaves are nice and thick. They feel kind of velvety on the top. And I love that they're trimmed in just a little bit of glitter and then the center is also glitter. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice fun. I have to say, they have just started to put out all of their Christmas stuff as far as uh, florals and things like that. And they have some absolutely gorgeous things already. I'm so excited. So this next uh, item is also in the floral department. And look at that, isn't that beautiful? It has just a little bit of sparkle on it, your greenery and those beautiful red berries. So I picked up several stems of that one. And then they also have this one that has the little white berries, but very sweet and beautiful. Really nice to find. I picked up uh, several stems of each of them because I know I'm going to be using a lot of this as filler in my Christmas decorations. Now, I also found these really gorgeous poinsettias, and these are in the red. And again, these are more of the velvet on the leaves, and then they have just a little bit of gold tipped on some of the leaves. Really, really pretty. I like it because it's so nice and rich. I'm going to have to do a little work on the petals. Some of them got a little squished, but I really like those. I think they're so pretty. And then I was really excited to find these. And I don't remember seeing these before at the Dollar Tree. And these are white poinsettias. And look at how pretty they are. They are pristine white. They have just a teeny bit of glitter. I did buy, I believe, like eight stems. Absolutely gorgeous. Very pretty. And I like that they're pure white in the bloom and just a sprinkle of glitter. Very pretty. So that was a wonderful find. Now this next one I have purchased last year and I only bought, I think like one or two stems and I really regretted it because I used every bit of that. <laughs> so this year I did buy four stems and it is this really pretty red berries. Now it does have a little bit of glitter on these as well, but they're really easy to cut up into littler pieces and to use on wreaths or to use on candle rings ornaments, anything like that. So I grabbed four of them this year. So this time I won't run out. The next couple items I found over in the catering section. And I did purchase them for Christmas um, crafts. So uh, I picked up a couple of their trays and they had this, I thought it was really nice. They're actually nice and sturdy. So I thought the shape of this was really pretty. So I picked up one of those and then I also picked up the rectangle. And I'm really surprised. I hadn't really looked at these in the past, but I decided to look at them and they're nice and sturdy. So they'll make a nice base for a project. And then I also found this one. Now this is just plastic, but it is really large. And I liked the texture around the edge there. And again, I didn't buy this to use as a platter. I bought it to use as a base for another project. 
So I grabbed one of those as well. My little finds over in the catering section. Okay, uh, let's see. What shall I share with you next? Uh, they did get in some new uh, do-it-yourself uh, Christmas ornaments. And you get eight in a pack this year, so which I thought was really nice. In the past, I believe it was only five. So I'm not sure if this one is new or not. Um, I know they have made some snowflakes in the past, but I don't remember this one. So I grabbed a package of that. And then this one I know is new. It's Santa giving you a nice little wave there. I thought that was really cute. I'm like, ah, grab a package of that. And then this one is a little snowman. I thought he was really cute too. Now these are not only fun to use actually as uh, make your own ornaments, but they also work really well to add to other projects. Uh, you can always decorate them, add them to a, a stick or a um, skewer, and then put it in a floral arrangement or just stick it in a house plant or something like that to add a little bit of decor. You can also decorate them, put them on wreaths, things like that. So always look past what they're made initially for because you can use them for a lot of other things. So those were the new uh, Christmas ornaments that I found. Now these next items uh, I thought were absolutely adorable. I have not seen them before. And they are um, light up Christmas ornaments, I believe. Yes, DIY LED ornaments is what they call them. And I found four different ones. This one is absolutely adorable. It is a little VW bug all dressed up for Christmas. And it does have the little light there in the back. Now you want to make sure that it has that little plastic thing in there. I'll pull that out and turn this one on. And you can see it lights up. But how cute is that to do that? And it lights up on your Christmas tree. Love it. So I grabbed one of this little guy. Thought he was so cute. And then I also found this one, which is absolutely adorable too. It's a little reindeer. And yes, he lights up as well. All, all of these here light up. And then I also found this one. And it's pretty. This is probably my least favorite out of all of them. And it's a snowflake. I'm sure lit up on the tree, it would look pretty. It's just, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I can do with it. And then the last one, this one's really cute. It's a little uh, gingerbread house. So I thought these were so cute. And what a fun project to do. And that they light up. Okay, so the next item, they have come out with these several times for several different holidays or seasons. And this year they did something a little different and they are these long wood signs and normally it's only one sided this year they did two sided. So this one says baking spirits bright. I thought that was really cute and then this other side says eat drink and be merry. But they did a really nice job on the decor and just the painting, you know, the, sometimes the things aren't really nicely done, but I think they did a really nice job on these. Okay, so I only found three. That was the first one. This one says Merry Christmas on this side. And then Merry and Bright on this side with a little red truck. So I really like these. And it's nice. I like that it's two-sided because if you want to use it for what it's intended for, that's great because then you can mix it up from year to year and you don't have to display the same side every year. And then the third one, this one has some little gnomes on it and it says, tis the season to be jolly. Let me pull this piece off. Covers up the cute little gnomes. So tis the season to be jolly. And this one has the gnomes on it. But very, very cute. <laughs> and then the other side just says, ho, ho, ho. And it's got Santa on it. But I just love that. And these are really nice to use as bases for other projects and things like that. So 
I thought that was a really nice find. Now, in the candle section, I did find some really nice candles. And for me, these are really uh, very holiday. You know, it's been really hard to find the artificial candles in my stores lately, especially this size. And I really like this one because it has little silver dots on it. Let's see if I can get the plastic off here. Come on. I think that's really pretty. It has a nice design and then little silver dots. And again, these light up. Ah. See, I didn't. Sh oh, there it is. Okay. Oh. Well, there he goes. Just had to give him a little bang. <laughs> Let's see, they light up. I really like these because then I can turn them on and display them. And if I leave the room, it's no big deal. I don't have to worry because it's not an active flame. And when you're doing a party, who wants to pay attention to your candles all the time? So I did go ahead and grab two of those. I thought they were really pretty and would work nice in some of my Christmas decor. Now this next item, I was so excited when I saw it. It is a brand new this year. And let me tell you, if you see these, you better grab them because they are gonna go like fire, I tell you. And <laughs> they're so cute. And I found three different ones. And the first ones are these, they're little Santa's um, picks. And these are perfect for all kinds of decor. You can put these in centerpieces, on wreaths, Stick them in maybe presents, or if you're going to give maybe a, a live plant or something to someone, this would be nice. So I thought that was so cute. So the first one here is the Santa, and you get two for a dollar. Great buy. And then I found this one, a little snowman with a Santa hat. He's so cute, and I love the little scarves. Absolutely adorable. So cute. And then I found these guys, little snowman with the traditional hats. Absolutely adorable. I thought they were so cute. I just had to buy one of each. But I know these are going to go so fast, and I only found them in one store. So that was a great find. Oh. Now this next item I did not find in the Christmas area. I did find over in the crafter section. And I purchased them to use on a Christmas craft because I thought, you know, they would be so pretty on a wreath. And they are these white and silver butterflies. I thought, how pretty to do kind of a Christmas, Christmas snowy wreath with some white butterflies. So I did go ahead and purchase three of them. I figured you need at least three on a wreath. I thought that was such a nice find. Very pretty. Reminds me of... The fake snow, how sparkly and shiny it is. So I did grab three of those butterflies. Now, uh, as you saw, I did go and also pick up another bag of artificial snow. I don't know what it is. I buy one or two bags of this every year, and I lose it. I swear. There is a little gremlin in my house that runs around and loves to steal little bags of fake snow. I don't know why. I have my have purchased so many bags of this and I can never find it. So I'm leaving this on my desk until I need it this year. <laughs> uh, I also found these. Now these are also brand new this year and they are just called garland and they're little pine cone garlands. Really pretty. Now they had plain, this one that was kind of white and sparkly and then they had one that had a lot of glitter on. But I liked this one that was a little bit more like snow. And they're all wired together. So I did go ahead and grab two of those. I thought they would be really fun to do in some kind of a project. I like that they're wired together. So a lot of things you could do with that. I'm kind of still working on the, in my head, what I want to do with that. But I thought those were a really nice find. Okay, so now they had all kinds of wood items. 
And these are brand new this year as well. And I thought they were really cute. They had a couple different ones to choose from. And you get eight pieces. They're just called wood shapes. And they were in the Christmas section. Now these are little tiny angels. Open up the package. Now they do have little wings on them. Some of them are got a little smushed, but that is what they look like. Isn't that adorable? And I'd say that's probably an inch, maybe an inch and a half in height. So they had the little uh, angel. And then let's see, they had a uh, little snowman. And all of these, you get eight pieces in a pack. And then there's your little snowman. And I thought these were really cute to add to uh, any kind of miniature stuff that you might do. They'd also be really cute if you do the little traditional um, <clears throat> Christmas village and things like that to add some of these. And then I also found Christmas trees, which I thought these were super cute too. They'd also be good in little fairy gardens. So let's see, I believe that was all that I found in those was the angels, the snowmen, and the trees. So if you found anything else like this in this size, let me know in the comments below, please, so I can keep my eyes peeled. Okay, now these are also new this year, and it's great. I'm so glad that they're coming out with a lot of these things. And this is a good size. The other artificial trees that they used to carry, or they still carry, um, <clears throat> are a little big for some projects. So these are smaller, and I really like that. And you get six. They come in several different colors. They also have a nice little wood base down there, but you get six trees, two different sizes in each pack. And these are the green. And they also come in gold. And white. And silver. But they're really pretty. Let me just take one out so you can get a good look. Sometimes you can't really see that well with the plastic. But that is what one of the larger trees look like. And I'd say that's probably about four inches, maybe three and a half. But very pretty. So really nice for a little display. So that was a nice find. Another brand new item this year. And now I found this too. This is brand new. And they didn't have a lot of letters to choose from, which I was hoping that they would. I actually went through trying to spell some words and things, and <clears throat> they didn't have a lot of vowels. So I just picked up one, an S, and it is a wood letter. And actually, they call it a wood ornament or an ornament. So I was really nice to find an S for my last name, Smith. So I grabbed one of those. Now, they also found these, and they are wood shapes, and these are also brand new this year. And I thought, again, these are a perfect size. They're perfect for making ornaments or to decorate packages or anything like that, or even just to decorate and then to hang on one of the small trees. And you get 14 pieces. And they had little bells. And they had little gingerbread men. Stars. Now these would also be good to pick up a couple extra packages that the stars for 4th of July. They didn't have anything like that around the 4th. And then the last one I found is this one and they're little snowflakes. So these are all really nice sizes for doing craft projects. So those are also really nice find and new this year. Now I was really excited when I went around the corner and I found that they were putting out a bunch of gnome ornaments. Now, unfortunately, I didn't find any of the gnome signs. I'm still on the hunt for those, but I was really excited that I did find several of the gnome ornaments. The first one I want to share with you are these, and you get four in a pack, and they are really cute. They're very simple. Now, this is a perfect item to purchase and then to upcycle it, to decorate it, to bring it up to the next level, and then to put it on a gift or to give it as a gift. Now they just come on a nice little silk ribbon on the back there. But this is your perfect starting point to uh, start with and then to bring them to the next level. So I was really happy to see those. I did grab it two packages of those. Lots of fun things you can do with these guys. 
Now this next gnome uh, they did have last year, but I thought he was so cute. And they really sold out fast in my store, so I didn't get one last year. So I went ahead and picked one up this year. I thought he was really cute. And again, with him, you know, you can always go in and dress him up a little bit. Like the ridge of his hat's a little messy. I can always go in and clean that up. Maybe add a little cute trim or something to him to just bring him up to that next level. But I thought he was so adorable. Now, another new norm gnome. <laughs> Another new gnome ornament that they have this year is this guy. And I thought he was so cute. I love his little long legs. But I love to see the little socks match his hat. And I think he is so cute. So I did grab two of him. Now he is made of felt and he needs a little bit of cleaning. But I think he is so cute. And they did a pretty decent job on him. I really like him. So I grabbed two of that one. And then my absolute favorite so far has to be these guys. And when I saw them, I'm like, ooh, I know exactly what I want to do with them. <laughs> and they are so cute. And there are two of them, and they are little gnomes on skis. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? I think he's so cute, and I love his hat. And he's also really well made. So again, he is felt, so he needs a little cleaning up. And then the other one, he's super cute too. I love his hat. They did such a cute job. Look at that. Look at that cute little hat. And he's on skis as well. Absolutely adorable. So these guys have got to be my favorite. I was so happy that I found them. Super cute. Now this next item, I've heard that Dollar Tree carried these in the past, but I have never found them until this year. And I was so excited that I found them. <laughs> and what are they? The little elf legs. So I picked up two in the red. So I have a pair with the red. And then I picked up two in the green. And these are just really cute. You can use these on wreaths. You kind of uh, flip them in, stick them in the end so that it looks like he's climbing out of the wreath. They're also really cute to stick in Christmas trees. So I thought they were super cute. I got one in each color. That was a wonderful find. Now, they've had table scatter in the past, but I don't remember them having this one. And I really like this one, actually. I think it's very pretty, and I would use absolutely everything in it. You get 20 pieces. It's just foam scatter. And they are snowflakes. And half are pristine white and half are silver. Absolutely perfect. These would look gorgeous on a wreath and a really inexpensive big bang for your buck. Table scatter like that is always nice. Now this next item, I could not believe it when I saw it. I looked down and I thought, no. That isn't what I think it is. I looked again. I thought, oh, it is. How cute. And you know, it's been really hot to have the metal collar rings for your Christmas tree. Well, Dollar Tree came out with them for the mini Christmas tree. So they have two to choose from. This says farm fresh Christmas trees. And this is the galvanized. Really, really cute. Nice nice job absolutely beautiful and they also have this one in red and this one says merry christmas and metal very nicely made really beautiful absolutely gorgeous love it for a buck thank you dollar tree <laughs> Now they also had a bunch of absolutely adorable Christmas lights this year. And you know, I buy them all the time and I always forget I have them. I have to use them more. And this year I hope to for Christmas. So I got two packages of this one. It is a candy cane rope light. And you get 10 little lights. And I thought that was so cute. You know, the candy cane wreaths that they have, you could wrap this around to add some light to your candy cane wreath. I thought they were so cute, so I grabbed two packages of those. 
And then this one, I bought these because I literally want to put them on one of the little Christmas trees that they have, the little green Christmas trees, but I want them to look like a traditional Christmas light. So I grabbed these, which I think look just like the traditional Christmas lights that I had on my tree when I was a little kid growing up. So I grabbed two packages of those. Because you know, one is just not going to be enough on a tree. I like lots of lights. So I grabbed two packages. And then, oh, I found these. I was so excited. I grabbed them. I don't know quite what I'm going to do with them yet, but I grabbed them because I know if I didn't, I'll never see them again. And they are the little tiny gnome Christmas lights. And you get 10 pieces. I did grab two packages because I feel one package really isn't enough if you want to put it on a wreath or something like that. One would probably be okay for like a centerpiece, but pretty much everything else I think you need to. And then the last one, I was so hoping that I'd find these. And I'm really excited to try these. And these are just the LED light sets. But they're the uh, what is that called? fiber optic. So I thought that was so cute. Very cute. So the little fibers are supposed to light up. I'm very excited to try these, and yes, I did buy two packages of those. They didn't have very many left, so if you see these and you want them, you want to grab them right away. So those were all the little Christmas lights that I found this year that were brand new, and I'm so excited to give them a try. Now, I did pick up uh, another package of these. I use these every single year. I love them. They work great on ornaments and other decor. And they are just their small red and green bows. I absolutely love these. And let's see, you get 12. I tell you, I go through a package every single year. So I grabbed another pack. And then this is the first time I found these and I thought they were so pretty. And they are little poinsettias. Look at how pretty those are. And let's see, you get six in a package. And it looks like they are on a little twist tie in the back there. So this is the first time I've seen these. I thought they were so pretty. How nice to add a decoration to the top of a package or maybe to a uh, envelope to somebody that you're mailing. So I did go ahead and grab two of these. I'm not sure what I want to do, but I know I probably won't find those again either. Anything that you see that you really like, you need to pick up when you see it because they go through so much stuff. And you never know what they're going to get replaced. <laughs> Usually the really good stuff they only get once. So those were nice. And then I did find they have a couple new um, of their display or gift box bags. <laughs> uh, I think these are really cool. And this is the first one I found that I really like. Farm Fresh Christmas Trees with your little red truck. And it has the little red ribbon on there and it is printed on both sides and it kind of has that faux shiplap in the back and i thought that was really pretty these are always nice um, if you're going to say at christmas time you're going to visit family and you want to bring a nice little hostess gift you can always put that in here you know maybe a little candles or maybe you made some cookies or muffins or stones or something along those lines that's really nice to put in here you can also use this as a base and put a real vase in and then put a floral arrangement in, something along those lines. So these are really nice, especially to give as gifts, hostess gifts especially. So I found that one, I really liked that one, and then I really liked this one. I thought this is, wow, very uh, farmhouse. I loved this one. I kind of really am drawn to those retro feels lately. <laughs> and that's what this gives me. So it was really nice to find those. They had several other ones to choose from, but those were the two that really drew me in. And then uh, they didn't put out a lot of socks yet in my store. I know a lot of people have been hauling socks and everything, but I did see these and I grabbed them right away because I know I probably won't see them again. And I just picked up one pair of each. And they are the Buffalo Check, the Little Booties. So I got one in the red and black and one in the white and black. I did get them for crafting. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, at Christmas we always like to make gnomes or things like that. So I thought, you know, they might come in handy for something like that. So I did grab one pair of each. 
Okay, so I have a lot more of these beautiful wood items for Christmas. And these are the little paint sets. And they came out with some really cute ones. I did find four different ones, so I picked up one of each. The first one I want to share with you is this one, and it is a little snowman. And let's see, it says, let it snow in his tummy there. They do provide you with three paints and a, uh, what they call a paintbrush. But I love the wood piece. The wood piece itself is worth it. And it does come on a little jute cord. So it is like an ornament. You can actually use it as an ornament. But I think it's a really good size if you like to do smaller wreaths and you're looking for something decorative to put on it. You could buy one of these, do it, and then put it on your wreath. So they have that one, which was the snowman. And then they have this one, which is Santa. And is in his tummy, it says, ho, ho, ho. I thought he was really cute. Again, you get the three paints and the paintbrush. And then this one, this has got to be my favorite. It is so cute. It is a little reindeer. And it says, Merry Christmas in his tummy. Look at how precious. The little scarf. Look at his little antlers. Oh, I absolutely adore him. I did grab two of him. Because he's just so darn cute. And then this one I thought was really nice too. Uh, I think this would be really fun to paint. And this is just a large ornament. But I really like all that detail. This would also be a really fun project to do with your kids. If uh, they're staying home, maybe it's rainy and wet outside and they're kind of driving you crazy. There you go. Give them one of those sets and let them go to town. Now this next item I just did the Snoopy dance in the middle of the store. This lady looked at me like I was crazy when I saw these. Yes, I'm curious. I looked over and she was like, giving me the stink eye. <laughs> I'm like, oh, but these are absolutely fabulous. <laughs> if you see them, grab them. And what are they? Look at that. Little sleds and they had three different ones to choose from. Isn't that adorable? Now that's pretty big. I'd say that's six or seven inches long and probably about three inches wide. Very cute. So they had that one and then they had this one. Now this one would be really nice to put some kind of Mod Podge picture there, maybe of a Christmas tree or snowman or Santa or something and then do this really rustic. You, know, you can also make these as Christmas ornaments or they're big enough to sit on a shelf or something as your base and then you could build something else on them. So this one you could do a lot with because it has such a flat base. So that one was nice and then I really like this one too. And it also has a large base but it has that kind of shiplap look to it. But I absolutely love these. I thought, wow, what a wonderful find. I did grab two of each of those. Absolutely love them. Now another new item that I found, which I thought is perfect for crafting, are these little ornaments. Now they've always had them in clear, but I don't remember them in white. Now this is perfect because normally with the clear ones, I would put paint in them and roll it around and try to get a nice clean white surface to work on. So I'm so happy to see that they did that for me. I don't have to do that step. That is fabulous. So they have uh, this package where you get two, and these are like your normal size uh, ball ornaments. And then I was really fun to see they have these, which are huge. So you can see the size difference there, but you only get one in the big ones. I thought how wonderful for do-it-yourself ornaments like these, because I normally would do that anyway. So I was so excited when I saw that. I'm all, yay, I don't have to do that. You know, because sometimes when you do that, the it doesn't come out nice and even on the inside. And then that bugs me. <laughs> so this way it's already done. And then I can just do my pretty on the outside. So I was really happy to find those. And then they have it again this year. And I'm so excited now. They have been coming out with this um, for more holidays. And what is it? It is the decorative mesh. This is the, what I call the snow covered mesh. Let's see. I think they just call it decorative mesh. Oh, now that now it says ribbon, <laughs> ribbon mesh. But they had a 
couple different colors. I believe they had green, white, and blue when I saw. I've used the blue and the green in the past. I went ahead and I picked up several packages in the green. I'm going to do another green uh, wreath with it this year for Christmas. So I'm really excited. I love that stuff. If you've never worked with it, I suggest you give it a try. It is only three yards instead of five, so you do need to buy a few more rolls. It has the feel of tulle with fake snow on it. But the thing that I like about it is it's great for cut methods because it doesn't fray. So you go through all that work and you put it you know, out on your front door and you don't have to worry about it fraying away in the wind. So I really do like that mesh. Now the next item that I found, this is kind of new this year. They have carried these in the past, but they're different this year. And they are the candy cane wreaths. Now they are much smaller which for some things are nice and for others are not. Um, but it was nice to see that they had them. Um, I think they'll make very pretty decorations. I did pick up four because, again, I know some people have had a really hard time finding them, so I wanted to make sure I had what I needed for the season. So that was a nice find. They're a little smaller, but that's okay. They will do the job just fine. Well, I hope you enjoyed that huge Christmas Dollar Tree haul. I was so excited when I started to go into some of my stores and I started to see Christmas. I thought, okay, I'm going to take the day and I'm going to go out and I'm going to hit the towns on either side of me. And I'm going to go to like six or seven Dollar Trees and see what they have put out. And I was really excited. I found so many new items. And what's scary is that they're just starting to put it out. So that's okay. I need to pace myself. <laughs> We have several months now between here and Christmas, and I hope they do kind of what they did with Halloween where they kind of spaced everything out and instead of trying to ship everything at once, they kind of shipped, you know, certain things at, at a certain times so it spaced it out so everybody kind of had a better chance of getting things. Well, anyway, I had so much fun shopping this week. I hope you enjoyed the haul. You have a great day and I'll see you next time.